more till you hear glass, Whitey. So this is Flynn Sunnybrook hunting and riding academy, huh? Now that's what I call using words colloquially. Chief, if you ask me, this is a waste of time. This guy ain't got any money. Look, he can't pay his rent. He's been dispossessed. Nobody asked you. And furthermore, he ain't been dispo nothing. He sells that junk. Well, I ain't buying none. Fellas, you wait here. Satch, yes, Chief? You come with me. You can never go any place by yourself. Thank you, sir. Down. Now, just remember, we ain't gonna let no sob stories deteriorate us from our point of attack. We're gonna be firm, and we're gonna be tough. Don't worry, Chief, I'll be firm, I'll be tough. When I get that guy, I'm gonna... Who's in the candy store? Cowbone? Musical door chime. No drums? Hello? 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 Sounds like an echo chamber. Sounds like an echo chamber. I'll get somebody, Chief. All right, all right. What? Are you trying to go? Give me battle fatigue? I was just trying to help. Anything I can do for you, gentlemen? Yeah, we want to buy one of your bells. We're from the Mahoney Collection Agency. I'm Mahoney the Collector. You owe our client, Mr. Dombrowski, $250 plus interest, which we're willing to disintegrate, plus court impoundments. Now, of course, we really don't want to take you to court, as it might cause you a lot of inconvenience. I don't understand, Mr. Mahoney. I explained all that to Louis this morning. Uh, uh, business has been very bad. Will you stop with that heart and flowers? We want that money. You're going to give us that money. I'm going to tear you up for Give me that money. You... Tough enough, Chief. Keep yourself in tow, lassie. As I was saying, business is very bad. Well, we can depreciate that fact, Mr. Flynn, but couldn't you just give us a little collateral payment? Collateral payment? We want money. I wish I could, Mr. Mahoney. I work very hard mending and trying to sell this old furniture. I just make a bad living. If you'll give me a little more time, I'll get the money somewhere. I don't want to go to court. I'll pay, believe me. I'll pay. Will you give us a little more time? What do you want from us, blood? We don't make any money. I'm just mending this furniture, doing this and doing that. We buy whole things. Will you give us a little more time? We don't make... My wife's sick. My baby's going to the mountains for the summer. Please, give us a little more time, will you? Give us some time. Last time I asked for time, I got six months. Give us some time. All right, Hamlet. Hold down the curtain. Okay, Chief. Step aside, will you? <laughs> And pretty, too. Now that I like. Oh, that's my girl. Not an impossible feat. You like her? Like her? What else? Well, maybe we can make a deal and settle Louis' debt right now. Yeah? Yeah? Well, if you like her, take her. Take her? Take her? Yeah. Take her, take her, take her, take her, take her. She's in good shape. Oh. That she is. That she is, that she is, that she is. And very sound. Oh, solid. Solid, solid. And it's a deal. Look, Mr. Flynn, uh, we agreed to take almost anything back to Louie on account, but uh, I think that would be a little out of his line, uh, the age difference and everything. Don't worry about age. We'll say she's older. You'll be doing me a big favor if you take her off my hands. It costs so much to feed her. Uh, Mr. Flynn, you really should be in bed. See, you don't seem to be cognizant of the fact that we have laws in this country. Now, you're not a law. Don't worry about the laws. The cognizant laws will change them. We'll do it black market. Take them, will you? Oh, I know it sounds complicated, but I know my rights. Uh, let's go outside and take a closer look at her. I'm gonna need an extra large net for this kid. If he's crazy enough to sell her, let's be crazy enough to buy her. She'll be nice to have her own store. <laughs> This is my daughter, Terry. Uh, Mr. Slip Mahoney and Mr. Horace Debussy Jones, but you can call me anything. How are you? Oh, we're alive. Uh, these young men came uh, to collect the money I owe Louie. Oh. 
Oh, I see. Uh, you know, I don't have the cash, so I told them they could take my girl here. Oh, that's my girl. Yes. All the time we thought that she... Oh, that's different. Well, at least they're both girls. But 